Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to test basics. In this podcast, we are going to look at entering invoices that we have received from suppliers. So we're going to do it by going through the screen here. We're going to click on the icon for suppliers, and you can see we have a little flow chart. And we've created some suppliers, and we want this one, enter an invoice. So we open the enter an invoice. I'm just going to put it up in this position and we have to find the supplier so if there's a space here for the supplier code and it's worth knowing that if you don't know the supplier code press F2 right that's press F2 and it indicates which of these suppliers you can choose from so we'll take the first one and we will select that one and so Shannon Goff appears and we need the date if I just click it will fill in today's date I need a reference. Now the reference is going to be that uh, uh, the invoice number from the supplier, and I'll say this is 234SG, and the description that uh, it's going to be a supplier invoice. We'll leave it at that, and our line one is going to show us if you want to anything let's say the invoice is for 100 pounds net and the VAT is at the standard rate there and you can see the first there we are we click on that for standard rate and it will fill in the 20 and the 120 and the description there for the analysis is going to be that and we still have to analyze the 100 pounds so we need to know from here what the 100 pounds is going to be I've pulled in again the uh, list of accounts I did that by pressing F2 F2 is usually a good one for pulling in lists on this particular one and I'm going to look here for costs costs purchases purchases here we are and so 4010 4000 at uh, stock or inventory as we now call it and we'll say that this is for stock this is for something we're going to sell again so we're going to select that and let's set that is our description right you will see then that this is somewhat limited but in fact it's managed to track the amount and the reference from the uh, supplier so if I have that I can pull this down that's pretty much my limit on this of what I can really do with it for a description so we will save that please confirm that we wish to save it yes we do so saving it will be saving it and posting it so I can now close that and I have entered an invoice from a supplier you can see that compared with say Sage or certainly with Adminsoft it's fairly basic fairly limited but nevertheless you can enter a balance it's rather like a sort of simple bookkeeping very simple bookkeeping program thank you